and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos aggro to kick off our rank up Sunday stream today. We're playing three decks over in ranked, five matches each, seeing how we do with them, trying to rank up uh, as best as we can. We played this Rakdos aggro deck early on, earlier on uh, in the week, and it felt pretty good. You know, we played four matches with it. We went 3-1, and I really liked how it felt. Uh, it did feel better than whenever we played Mono Red like two weeks ago. And so I want to give this, this deck another try here. I think this is a perfect day for it with the Rank Up Sunday stream. As you can tell, we're, we're very similar to Mono Red. As you know, we got our burn spells, we have our light up the stage, we have our experimental frenzy. But instead of sticking with red for our creature threats, we're moving towards black because we have two cards in particular that we really want. We have Knight of the Ebon Legion, which is probably the best one drop in standard. I think that's fair to say. And we have Rotting Regisaur, which the more I play this card, the more impressive it looks. It is a huge, huge threat uh, early on in the game, and especially when you can pair with all the other aggressive elements of the deck. Also, it works really well with Experimental Frenzy, because Experimental Frenzy says you can't play cards from your hand anyway, so what's the point of having those cards in your hand? So you can just discard them to Rotting Regisaur. Or, you know, you can play all your other cheap spells and, get, and, and uh, empty your hand and then play the Rotting Regisaur also. Butcher was pretty good. Not spectacular, but pretty good. Gutter Bones was fine, but again, not spectacular. So that, that's something to kind of look look at. I don't I don't know if... Like if run if like runaway steamkin would be a better option than dreadhorde butcher when you have a lot of black spells maybe I'm not sure and as far as one drops go um, gutter bones is fine it's fine it it doesn't work perfectly with frenzy of course because you know like if if you have like you know if it dies you put it back in your hand well if you can't cast it when you have frenzy out it doesn't work perfectly there but it's good enough. So that's what we have here for our Rakdos aggro deck. Uh, of course, we got uh, good black removal as well, especially Legion's End, which is just an all-star of a card, Noxious Grasp, to take out things that red decks really struggle with, like Ripjaw Raptor, Cavalier Thorns, cards like that um, that the red decks really struggle with. We got Noxious Grasp for those. Um, Lava Coil is just another good removal spell that we have in here. And... Uh, you know, Duress against the combo decks. You know, Mono Red doesn't have Duress. Duress is a really good card to be hitting off of Frenzy and light up the stage and all that kind of stuff, too. Blood Sun's a necessary card to be playing in this format, and that's our deck. All right. Uh, yeah, so this deck does not lose hardly anything after rotation. Tomorrow, we have... Um, I'm doing ro Rotation Proof Mondays here, so I'm making four decks for Rotation Proof Monday. And I was actually thinking about just kind of doing this deck of just making it rotation proof because it really doesn't lose very much we just we're not you're not going to have the little monkey over here the monkey is leaving the format and then dragon skull summit and blood sun and i think that's that's it um you know so dragon skull summit you just replace it with like the crappy gain life land it hurts but you know and then just got to find a different one drop to play which that isn't too hard i'm sure there's another one drop even though it'll be worse and then you know you won't have blood suns um but the thing about Blood Sun, while Blood Sun's really necessary right now because all the Scape Shift decks, it may not be that necessary after rotation happens. But everything else, I mean, well, okay, you don't have Angrath, but you can replace Angrath with a different Planeswalker. You know, you can play Chandra. Good enough. But yeah, this is our deck. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Here we go. Yeah, just because... So the question is, why not for Judith? So Judith has... Hey, there we go. Thank you so much, Serious Ward. Is it Wizards? All right, cool. That's a That looks like a fun donation deck. Um, awesome. Well, I could... I could play that donation deck uh, in the fourth slot today instead of playing the singleton. I could do that. 
Um, or I can save it for tomorrow, of course, also. But yeah, so Judith... Judith is certainly a strong card when you already have, like, other creatures out and everything, and, um... And yes, basically, she is a strong card. But on her own, she's not going to win games. Three mana 2-2s two aren't winning games. You have to have a lot of other creatures in play to, you know, get that pump and get the triggers and all that kind of stuff. So if you, ha if you just have a hand of, like, some lands, a couple removal spells, and a couple Judiths, you're probably not really winning the game. Judith isn't doing much damage on her own. Yes, Oslin, you do. Yep, for being a tier three sub, you get a donation deck every month. I guess to keep them from flipping landing, I'm going to lightning strike one of these things. Just have one card left in hand, huh? really unfortunate I guess their one their last car was champion of dusk and then they drew a Soren Oh yeah, lightning strike is going to rotate out also. Good good call. So yeah, I'm still playing the one Judith because Judith is is still a strong card. But it's something that I don't I don't want to just draw a bunch of Judiths, but the the first Judith is a perfectly reasonable draw step. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to incentivize them to block. I feel like if I play both Dreadhorde Butchers and attack both at Soren, they just don't block. And I'm in more trouble than than where we're at, right? So like I, I wanted to incentivize them to block there. Um, which is why I played it like that. I don't want a lightning strike. Don't really want to block with this thing. I guess I could though. I could take out these two. We'll cast the Lightning Strike and before we discard to R Rotting Regisaur. Maybe I should have just played the other Dreadhorde Butcher and attacked one at them, one at Soren. That's that's what I should have done. One at them, one at Soren.
attacking the Dreadhorde Butcher into like these little crappy things is just so meh. So they double block here, and that kills that. Yeah, when when you have things like Ju when you have like the Judith Pings trade like trading Dreadhorde Butcher for the one ones just so bad. So like I I think I I did mess up that butcher that butcher turn. I think I should have attacked them with one butcher and attacked the Soren with the other butcher. So I should have done. The blood is the life. I cannot be killed. Putting the Soren down to four means that the Knight and the Riding Registrar both are lethal against the Soren. This was a really bad turn for us having the Judith leave us. So yeah, this this butcher should be bigger. I I messed up this game on that that turn is where I messed up this game. No, you don't get a special sleeve for getting to Mythic rank. Hey, Whopper. Happy Sunday. You lost what little trust I had. Still pretty impre pretty impressive showing for our deck of like being able to handle the the Soren drop champion Dusk could draw four cards, and then the other champion of Dusk draw four cards. We got to handle that for a while, and I, I think I could have been in a lot better spot to win this if I would have made that different Dreadhorde Butcher attack a few turns ago. I could have been a lot more aggressive here. All right, so we're going to want more Legion's Ends and Angrath and all these coils. I'm going to take out the Gutter Bones and Butchers. Yeah, we didn't play against vampires the last time we played the deck. Vampires is just is just an awesome deck. Like it's it's probably it's probably the top deck in the format. So yeah, this is this is a this is a good challenge here. Dreadhorde Butchers just don't match up. Hey, Blue Jin.
doesn't make any sense to play that other Dreadhorde Butcher. Okay. Guess their hand wasn't so good. Removal spells are good, though. I did take out a lot of creatures. I wonder if I should take out the Judith instead of another Butcher. Butcher on the draw, though, is definitely worse. Hey, Tony, Dola. What's up? Happy Sunday. Yeah, Elijah, glad you liked the, the White Weenie deck. Yeah, I had a couple of weaker matchups there with the league, but still. It played it played really well. The deck played really well. JFS Bird, hi, and Mouse. What's up, everybody joining today? Well, this would be a really good time for me to use Lava Coil. Right, like, we want to just curve out and use our cards, but these are not good creatures to Lava Coil. So do I actually want to... Um, actually, want to do it. Hey, there you go, Tony. You got a promotion at work. There, so no more Sundays for you at work. Congratulations. So now you get to make the streams here today. Awesome. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that bird. <clears throat> I drink only the finest. Why is it always champion of dusk? Welcome to the on turn family. three. Not a good, not a good uh, game for us. That that Soren Champion Dust combo. That that's what just makes their their deck so so strong. It's a really hard one to beat. We have our first subscriber of the day here, Silver N A. Update this to one. Welcome to the channel, there, Silver. Thanks for that Twitch Prime support. It's a tough combination to beat. Yeah, that's. This is a tough. This is definitely a tough um, metagame right now. How. Scapeshift and Vampires are both so good. I wanted to play Frenzy, but we just got. We got to kill this thing. But yeah, it's, it's hard to play. It's harder to play uh, off the wall decks right now and be able to beat vampires and scape shift. Especially like vamp like both I mean both both decks, like yeah, it's it's tough. Last format we had like Esper as the best deck and 
Guess I could hit hit Legion's end. Darn. And when you have a reactive deck is the best deck, or like the deck that, you know, when lots of people are playing a reactive deck, you know, while you may not, well, you know, the, the deck's really good, you may not be winning all the time, you can kind of play anything you want to try to try to fight it, and, you know, just some games, like, your cards are going to line up better and you're going to win kind of thing. But when you have, like, the aggro deck like Vampires that is so good... Um, it'll just have their draws that just, you know, consistently beat just random decks and it'll just beat everything. And so it's, uh, it's harder to beat really, really good aggro decks with jank than it is to beat control decks with jank. And scape shift is, you know, combo deck is the same kind of thing. It's hard to beat combo decks with jank normally. I guess I get rid of the Rotting Regisaurs. Because, like, by the time we play two Rotting Regisaur, like, we're already going to have to discard our other cards for, like, the third kind of thing. And so, yeah, you can you can usually build... Yeah, that's, that's true. You can usually build, like, a... Like, if you're playing in... in off, you know, a, a non-tier deck or whatever, you know, like, you know, you're playing, like, your own deck, it's, you can usually have it, like, kind of tuned towards beating one of the two of, like, Vampires or Escape Shift, you know, aggro or combo, but it, it is kind of hard to have a, have both areas covered, though, you know, you have, like, an anti-aggro control deck kind of thing, and then your opponent's putting... You know, just doing playing a whole bunch of ramp spells while you're looking at your like removal spells. But I mean, it's it's all okay. I'm just I'm just saying like I'm not I'm not complaining. If you're think that thinking that I'm complaining, I'm just I'm just saying like how what meta games are like. It's it's perfectly fine. If you're thinking that I'm complaining about it, it's it's perfectly fine. I'm I was just kind of stating the difference the differences between when you have like a control deck that's dominant or an aggro and combo deck dominant. So what didn't work last time? Maybe not four frenzy. Maybe more duress, just cheap spells. So the difference from last time is I'm taking out one Frenzy, one Judith for two Duress from what I did with the sideboarding last time. Gideon, Gideon's not very likely to see from our opponent. It's basically Noxious is just Legion Lieutenant. And that's not... That's too narrow to play. You know, or like the the one drops, you know, so it's basically just one drops and Legion Lieutenant. You know, with the one drops, you're tr trading down on mana.
That's a bad attack by me. That's a bad attack, because they could just do the one they just gain the one life back and deal the damage with that. That's a bad attack. If you threaten Innistrad, I will take it personally. Joy, my welcome to the family. This is not my final demise. Last turn. Land. All right, come on, Frenzy. They have a Soren, I have a Frenzy. We both have nothing in hand. And they get first draw step. All right, so they drew Legion Lieutenant. Let's see what I get. Nice. Splash. Good. Always like hitting land drops with Frenzy. Alright, we're still kind of doing it. The Soren though is... Means that all these cards they draw... <laughs> are huge threats. Okay. Hmm. Wrong land. Hopefully they drew a land. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Thorns down. Only won a We're at six, though. And Frenzy is ridiculous. <laughs> Plead your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price.
I don't... I say I don't think they're going to draw something that's going to make me... It's going to, like, kill my Registrar Alpha and pump up their thing to, to kill me. No fire. I right, do no this first. Turn on the slide at the stage. Hey, what's up, good brother? Keep it on that sub. Uh, streak for eight months now. Yeah, this experimental frenzy card is pretty good, and that's eleven damage. Boom. All right, so good brother getting SR. Second sub of the day gets us our second game win. There, so all right, so we took it. We took down vampires. So we first lost to vampires, then beat vampires. Yeah, frenzy with rotting register is that's definitely really strong. Because yeah, rotting register is. Rotting Registrar is a really good rate, three mana, seven six. But of course, that downside, you're like, oh, well, you have to discard a card every turn. It's it's hard to have enough cards and all that. You know, it's hard to keep the card advantage going. Well, Frenzy gives you that card advantage, and uh, basically ne completely negates the downside of Rotting Registrar. Yeah, one one versus Vamps. We'll take that. Oh man, the last the last time that we played this deck, either two or three, I think two, at least two, maybe three of our matches were against sca scape shift decks or just field of the dead decks, and blood suns were awesome, and like frenzy going and finding blood sun and everything, but yeah, the blood suns shut them down. So gutter bones hits harder. Our turn one play. Looks like vampires again. Got the shrine without a god. Ah, Espa. Do I play? Do I not play out my hand against Esper? Nah, I play on my hand. The seven six is gonna kill him. Like they have to have like Kaya's Wrath on turn four, or they're dead. I don't know. <laughs> Esper vampires. Right on yeah, I prefer the a full Windsor knot. That is my favorite tie knot. I think I want to keep this mountain. Because if we draw Frenzy, I want to play Frenzy. Hardly my worst defeat. If I don't play Rotting Register, I'm not threatening lethal. Or sorry, if I don't play the Knight, I'm not threatening lethal. Please don't Kai's Wrath. Okay. 
Okay. Usually the elite guard mage decks don't play Kaya's Wrath, right? And then some of them do, like main deck. Wow. Well, they had it. I really, I, I didn't expect it. I got. I got got. Should have played the night out the turn before. I know my responsibility. I've got time. Man, now this, is, this could just be a long. A long game of me losing. We need to draw our burn spells. Dreadhorde Butcher. Dreadhorde Butcher. In particular would be good. It was not Kai's rat. That is fair. That is very fair. Trust me. I have a plan. I don't know if we're going to get through this now. The one match that I've lost with this deck, whenever we played last time we went 3-1, the one match that we lost was Esper like this. Is this kind of anti-aggro anti Esper kind of thing? How many people play Nissa? I've got it. Uh, but why isn't Tamik played? Because it doesn't completely shut down Nissa anyway. Nissa still has the passive ability. So it doesn't completely shut down Nissa. Yeah, the, the double white re restricts the number of decks that can play it. Sorry, I'm late. This is a a great combination of two cards, Oath of Kaya and Teferi Time Raveler, really are. That's a great combination of cards there. Hey, what's up, Roach Deity? Alright, cool. Thanks for that donation deck there. Yeah, sorry I didn't do too good with the the one from last night. Here we go. Twenty four lands. I really should have seen that coming.
But yeah, that, that one looks pretty interesting. Quasi, quasi reef, quasi duplicate risen reef. I like it. Exactly the kind of cards that we really struggled with last time, especially Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker wrecked us up completely against Esper the last time. Time wipe, huh? Time wipe. Do I sideboard out Rotting Regisaur? Shock is like good against Hero Precinct 1 and not good against like anything else, basically. Because it does can kill Lil Teferi. I wonder if I need war bosses in the sideboard to like replace Rotting Registor with. This is a matchup that I don't really want to be discarding my cards. That's kind of silly though. Yeah, it could just be Gutter Bones again. Maybe it's just a couple of shocks and Gutter Bones. The Gutter Bones was pretty good early on, early game though, as we saw there that last game. I think Registor doesn't match up well at all against Teferi. I'm gonna play. I want to keep the Gutter Bones. I'm gonna cut Registor. Want to get out ahead, you know, with light up the stage, all that kind of stuff. I don't want to have too high of a curve. Looks like they've mulliganed a few times. Don't know exactly how many times. They're down to four. Yeah, Roach, your, your donation went through. Yep. Thank you. So yeah, I got, I got your donation deck and everything. I like it. I think it'll do better than the the last than the one we played last night. Well, we've cleared out a whole lot of lands. So that's good news.
Hey, JFS bird. I'd rather have the mountain in play, actually. So I should have... I don't get to have the mountain in play, though. I should have... I should have played the mountain first and then activated and had the blood crypt play the gutter bones, but... Oh, well. Getting the hype in for our resub here. Love your decks. Don't get to watch you live often, but I love your YouTube streams. Well, thanks, J JFS Bird. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube channel and everything. And thanks for being here live today. Um... Where is... Here we go. Update. Three subs on the day. No so unfortunately, five. my opponent only had four cards. Cause I, I had like a really strong hand here. It would have been nice to test it out against like a seven card hand. Um... We'll see if we have another strong one for game three. I do get to hostage taker of the Dreadhorde Butcher. I think that might have been the incorrect block. I think that was the incorrect block to make. Putting themselves down to four. I have an Angrath here. No fire, no steel. Okay, game number three. Hosh Ticker is a tough one for my deck to beat. Don't like my chances here, game three. Hmm. No, I've not built a Cavalcade of Calamity deck. Actually, I have not. Oh, uh, the, the band that was just playing, I'm sorry, it was... I could check check real quick. That was Leonard Skinner. That was Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. All right, so now being on the draw, I think I'm switching it up, going power over. Maybe I want to play a couple lava coils. Kill all their two threes and stuff? I don't know. I 
wish my removal lined up a little better against their creatures. I wish I had like kind of wish I had cast down instead of lava coil, because cast down can kill hostage taker a lot better. Awesome, Ani. Glad you love that deck. Um, I, I'm not planning on playing the Esper Colorless again in the near future. But who knows? Maybe I. That was a pretty pretty fun deck to play. It was certainly a you know, long games grueling deck, but Mystic Forge was pretty sweet. Mystic Forge with Sahili and. Like, the Sahili from the sideboard was really surprising how good that card was with Mystic Forge and Ugin. Mystic Forge Ugin is a, certainly a combo. Now, Legion's End doesn't. doesn't hit their creatures except for Hero Precinct 1, because, you know, it's only CMC 2 or less. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get to Team or Extinction again, uh, but probably not for a little bit because I did play it a few times there in a row. So I'm going to give the deck a break. Mm. Need more black mana. Let's see what Frenzy can do for me. That's a good one to hit off a of Frenzy. Good turn. We didn't hit the land drop, though. You basically, you always want to hit like one land with Frenzy because it just, you know, helps set up your other turns to be really awesome with that. Whoa! Oh my gosh! No, I am not making this up as I go. Roach! You are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, we are going to have some hype boats in the chat here. Y'all get them in there. Thank you so much, Roach. Oh, my gosh. You just oh, my gosh. So we have 20 gifted subs out. From Roach Deity. But we're going to be here in the charm of the hype boat. Or like the, uh, our victory fanfare. There we go. We're going to be hearing our victory fan here, fanfare here for a minute. Thank you so much, Roach Deity. We're, well. Um... Hey, Timmy, thanks for joining in on the subhype here. Welcome back. Okay, so I could go Noxious Grass, Rotting Regisaur, but the thing is, I, I probably shouldn't 
invest more onto the battlefield because of time wipe. What if I just replay my frenzy? I should just play the the frenzy pre combat. Yep. I already played my land. That's all right. I did. We got a free card with that frenzy hitting the, that fire brand. Yep, there's time wipe. All right. Um, oh gosh, I forgot the whole return the creature back part of time wipe. And yeah, I should have sacked fire brand. Sorry. I was thinking like, I I would just forgot about that part with time wipe. I'm sorry, <laughs> I got got flustered here. Um, I was thinking like, don't use noxious grasp because they're just gonna wrath away the board and keep my noxious grasp, noxious grasp, and stuff. That's what I was thinking, but I was certainly wrong. And then yeah, I missed the one damage there. So I think if I would have noxious grasped. And then attacked out. Maybe I would have killed my opponent. Last turn. I'm known for my excellent timing. I'll protect you. No, my other frenzy. Hey WQ, it's going great. It's going great. I am. Kinda throwing this away, but just kinda. All right, so I need to get that thing out of here so that I can play an instant, so that I can play the lightning strike instant speed here. So I can play it in response to the Rotting Regisaur trigger. Hope the opponent drew some lands. Show remorse. Just I'll show remorse. Infinite to fairies. That's more like it. Seems like they never run out of that card. Oh, you're welcome, Roach DD. I played Magic back when Bloodbraid Elf was in standard, and now your ch channel's the reason I'm back into it. Well, I'm I'm very glad to hear that. Um, just just a different one drop instead of gutter bones, I guess. You could also try. You'd also try, um, I don't, I can't remember the name of the card, the, the two mana, two, two, that's a red card that has the black ability also that whenever it enters, you discard and you draw. Hey, Gatsby. Don't worry. I got this. Remodi Reveler, right, that card.
Well, I missed one point of damage earlier, for sure, but probably more if I would have just Noxious Grasped that thing earlier. Play the land. How How is it so difficult to play land? What is going on? I'm in my, my main phase. What is going on? You work? All right, so they have nothing in hand. So I think I'm I'm just not gonna let them minus their Teferi. Stop that now. And draw another card and bounce my rotting register. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Well, duress doesn't really help me at all. Because whatever, you know, if I just play duress, they just respond with their card. They just respond to the duress. All right, we got him. We defeated Esper. Ooh. All right, work busy season. I've been around, but doing some lurking until I get back home. That's all good, Gatsby. Work busy season will do that to you. Wow, we got a whole bunch of stuff. We got a Spectral Sailor, a Collision Colossus. We got a pack to open. It's Sunday XP day. It's part of Rank Up Sunday. Let's crack this pack open. I already have all the rares, so... Hopefully it's not gems. Hopefully we get a card. Nope, it's gems. All right, we got 20 gems. Okay, we're two and one. Whew. Oh, I know, that Spectral Sailor card style. I'm all about that. Oh, which I like the card styles. That's a good one to have. Okay, didn't play the best there, but we are back at it. I guess it could have been Settle the Wreckage. I guess that's that's the one thing it could have been. No, or... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, seal Away. So yeah, like Seal Away, Settle the Wreckage. Those could have been reasons to play Duress first, but I don't think our Esper hero opponent's playing those cards. The sad state of affairs here, double Dragon Skull Summit. Well, this is a very solid hand. I don't want to mulligan it. Thus being on the draw is hoping just to draw a basic and help turn on our hand. Asper again. There you go, you craft all the shock lands. That was a good 
That's a good step to have. Was a, it's a good investment to have all the shock lands. We will meet again. Mountain was a really good draw step for us. Yeah, probably just skip Buddy Lands then, because Buddy Buddy Lands are going to be gone in about six and a half weeks now. This rotation is about like. Yeah, it's about six and a half weeks or so for Arena. So if you can last that long without Buddy Lands, you're good. No, I don't think free-to-play players will be able to claim all 100 mastery rewards. I also don't... For the free-to-play side, I, can no I don't think there are I rewards watch. after, like, level 80, I don't believe. I, I don't think... I think, like, the last, like, 20 levels are only if you paid money for the mastery system rewards. Reverse. I believe it's 70 or 72. Okay. So it's somewhere right around there. It's only a matter of time. We're gonna keep the gutter bones in hand here to discard the riding regisaur and be able to lightning strike here. Right on schedule. What am I like one one point away from killing them? Let's say they tuck riding regisaur again. Oh wow, they tucked that. Well, they're dead. You need to slow down. That's going to kill him. All right, so Esper again. Get a bunch of duresses, a noxious grasp, and grath. The main question is what kind of Esper? If they're Esper hero with like all those creatures or not, if they're just Esper control. Because if they're just Esper control, we can cut down more on like shocks and shocks and strikes and stuff like that. And stay with more creatures. It certainly looked like Esper Control. They didn't really play hardly anything, though. They just played Teferi, Teferi, Teferi. Bleh. That's all they did there, though. Like, Gutter Bones is awesome against Esper Control. By awesome, I mean better than Shock. The last time I cut Gutter Bones. Maybe I'll just still just cut gutter bones though. The main use for shock is killing minus to fairies.
I don't think no, I don't think there'll ever be just wild cards for money. I mean it's it's already that way, it's just you know, you can spend money for wild cards. You just you have to buy six packs and you get a wild card for every six packs you open. So it's kind of a a convoluted way to do it, but that's it, you can already spend money for packs and I, I don't think that'll change. Or sorry, you can already spend money for wild cards. Darn, should have got rid of the light at the stage. Well, Langrass is amazing if we get to ca if we get to cast it. Not having the light of stage hurts, and putting a land to the bottom with the scry hurts as well. We'll see though. I have practiced to meditate and prepare. Duress. Uh, so much commotion. Where are all these duresses my opponent's playing against me? Put thoughtfulness before you get more creatures in here. So yeah, this definitely looks like... Okay, so this is definitely just control deck. Hogs in. I've played, yeah, I've played Mardu Kalia a bunch. I've played a Kalia deck with angels and hell kites and stuff a bunch. Been calling it uh, Kalia and Friends. Probably played it three or four times. I like it too. Uh, certainly had good success. Uh, Kalia has been pretty sweet, I'd have to say. Awesome animation. It's fun, fun card to play. This isn't a fight you can win. Here goes nothing. The problem with not being able to play instance, you know, it would have been nice just a lightning strike on there and kill the Teferi on their turn. But yeah, definitely check that one out on the YouTube channel. Trust me. I have a plan. There you go. Good job, Choco. No, the blue ley line is not very good. Yeah, I should have just lightning striked. Yeah, I really hope we draw a land here and get to play this frenzy. We need to. This isn't a fight you can win. I guess it doesn't really matter too much now. They have the two Teferis. We're basically locked out. I could have Noxious Grasp, I guess. But the hero of Dominaria tucking the Frenzy is going to make it really tough for me. Skip to the good part. Well, they could just have discard and bounce it with the little Teferi. Should have just lightning strike to the little Teferi. 
instead of playing the Rotting Regisaur. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Don't worry, I got this. All right, so we know they are full on as per control. All control. It's unlikely. You know what? I'm not done yet. No, this, this just can't. There's just not even anything we can do here. All right, get those back in. These out. Judith out. Rotting Registrar did look pretty bad that game. And I know they have Cry of the Carnarium for these, but it's still just the thing to do is to play them. They just cost one mana. Judith, though, dying to Cry of the Carnarium, it's, Judith is gone. Hey, what's up, Real Rankler? We have Rank Up Sunday today. We're trying to defeat Esper in game three for the second time in a row. We've had a, I mean, this is you know like what you see in ranked. You, we've had a, a tough, a tough league with our deck so far. And we're two and one, still potentially three and one with two vampire, two Esper. Yeah, this is this is called traditional standard when you're playing best two out of three. It's called traditional standard in in arena. Yeah, so it is available to everyone, but they have it hidden because they think for some reason their their thinking is that hiding the option is better for newer players. But that doesn't it doesn't make sense to me because I feel like if you're trying to make things easier for a newer player having all of the options available or like not not hiding something and making it really hard to find would would be the way to go, but Anyway, uh, there's a button that's around this area of the screen, top right hand part. It says on your screen, it'll probably say arena play modes and you need to click the button and turn it over to all play modes. It looks like a symbol. It doesn't look like a button, but it's actually a button that you need to click. Let's slow this down. And then that will get you to the top where you can see all the play modes, including the traditional constructed. No, I am not making Hope you make Sultai Elemental good. What are you struggling with with Sultai Elemental? My assumption would be you would be struggling with vampires. That's what I would think. Yes, Teferi is very good.
Um, I was kind of thinking of like maybe not putting everything. Out there for this a wrath. Hardly my worst defeat. Both Teferis are very, very good. What if they would have, instead of having like two really, really good Teferis, even if they had the same cards, what if like the little Teferi was like Dovin instead from like War of the Spark? Like, what if they had a good Dovin and a good Teferi? So you could, so, you know, you didn't have to say Teferi and then you have to, like, qualify which one Let's you're talking about. You can no say, like, Dovin break. or Teferi. I guess the problem with that would be... Dovin's not really... Like, Teferi, I guess, is, like, the time... Planeswalker it does all the lame time stuff. And I guess that's why it makes sense for... To fairy to have that passive ability. I thought for sure they were going to be killing my Knight of the Oven Legion. There. That's a pretty big win getting Teferi off the battlefield for us. That doesn't mean that like we're winning this game. All they need to do is just play like a Cry of the Cranarium or... I mean, I guess I have that I have that kind of protected, but, you know, just like a Kai's Wrath. And we're pretty dead. Yeah, Othakai is, is really... Is a really, really strong card. So for Sultai Scapeshift, Vamps hurts a lot. Yeah, that's that's what I would assume is that Vampires would be the tough, really tough thing. And then Scapeshift is bad news. I don't know if Thief of Sanity helps against vampires or escape shifts. So that could be the first thing is not playing Thief of Sanity. But of course, you are with the Sultai deck, you do have black in your deck, so the best card against both vampires and escape shift is of course Legion's End, so you, you can load up on those as much as you can. Trying to hold on here. We're trying to trying to get through. They have active as Kanta. I I don't think we're winning this. I can no longer stand by and watch. This might be a bad idea. Well, we're gonna try.
I'm not attacking Teferi. I'm either going to just ignore Teferi or kill with Firebrand. If I ignore Teferi, I'm attacking for four here, putting him down to four. Where, like, the Butcher will be... Butcher will be two power. I don't have any shocks in the deck anyway, though. Yeah, let's do this. I really think save, saving this for, like, Big Teferi is the better thing to do. Because I, I don't really want to cast the Noxious Grasp here, because I want to just replay Gutter Bones and the Butcher. It's a good sign for us. I won't hide from the world any longer. Hey Poppy. So I don't want to attack I don't want to attack to Fairy because of Othakaya. People think. Triggering. Only time will tell. So we got him down to one where we also have this Dreadhorde Butcher coming back. And they're at one. Wow, as Kanta whiffed? Wow. So now they have five mana, they have to they have to draw an answer to Rotting Registrar and Dreadhorde Butcher. And I don't even know what they're gonna get for Dreadhorde Butcher. They have to kill Rotting Registrar and gain life, basically. I think we got this. Yeah, Contempt. Woodwork. Um, the, like, either the four drop creatures that gain life and can, can jump block the Registrar, those would have worked. Open mind. All right. Two O versus Esper. No, I haven't discussed what I'm playing for Singleton. I think I'm going to be doing a donation deck, though, instead. Earlier in the stream, we got two donation decks. And so I think I'm going to be playing one of those. Um, the first of which was Is, there, is It Wizards? I forgot to change this over here. I think I want to do the Is It Wizards donation deck. But as far as Singleton, I, I was what I, my plan was was just to build an Orzhov deck. I think there's so many good Orzhov cards. I think that's what my plan was to go that way. Forest. We've only seen vampires, vampires, Esper, Esper. I haven't seen any forests or mountains. What are, what are these lands?
Do I trade? I would like more red mana, please. Darn it. I wasn't really expecting them to block. My plan was to pump the knight with that one. All right, G2. So, teamer elementals. Hmm. Grasp and Coil, of course, are like the cards that I'm certainly looking at here. I mean, Grasp is, we're, we're definitely playing Grasp, and yeah, we're definitely playing Coil also. So we're playing these. Uh, I think we'll, yeah, we'll get rid of the Gutter Bones, and maybe no Legion's Ends. I guess they, I guess they could be a Krasis deck where we really want Legion's End against Krasis. Could be. So would I rather play Legion's End than Shock or Firebrand? No, I want to. I don't want to have just all two drops, two mana cards. Would I rather have Legion's End than Coil or Dreadhorde Butcher? Maybe, maybe more than Dreadhorde Butcher. Dreadhorde Butcher on the draw isn't spectacular. Maybe I'll go. To Butcher to Legion's End. Hey, what's up, Sloth? Yeah, having a very good weekend. Absolutely. Thanks for being here, everybody. All 814 people in here y'all are all amazing thanks for joining in on this rank up sunday we're playing five matches with each of these first three decks in ranked tiers. seeing if we get to mythic i guess we are pretty close to getting to mythic for this month something you got to do again each and every month uh -huh. Thanks, Bradera. You went 6 2 with Mono White in the event. Awesome. That's... That'll do. Voracious Hydra. Wait. Legion's End is pretty good against just a whole bunch of Hydras.
card's hard to fight through. My best draw is Lava Coil. How about that? Get that splash down. Everybody knows you don't mi mix water and electricity. So we had the, the water splash from the lava coil and the electricity of the shock. And those two just sent this cavalier into exile. Don't, don't mix water and electricity. All right, well, my best draw would be Noxious Grasp. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Darn. Darn. Wrong place for Rotting Registrar right there. Behold nature's true power. All right, so Legion's End does look really good here for this matchup. The more we see their deck. Hey, Guru. I'm having a very good Sunday. Thanks for stopping by. Don't Angrath. I mean, Angrath, you know, gets rid of Krasis and everything. Angrath's very good against Nyssa also. Maybe I'll play Duress. I guess Angrath could be good against Cavalier Thorns. Would it be good? Ow. I don't know about this Judith. For basically Ninth Regisaur Frenzy Control Deck. I don't think I want Butcher here. Just doesn't work against like all like any of their creatures. Like they just have like their O3 blocks Butcher and everything and just not a very impactful card. Well, Shuffler got us. You know, that'll happen sometimes, and you know, so it happened one game out of five matches. This is the the first and only game that like the Shuffler really got us. So I guess I can't be too mad that lose a game every five matches is the Shuffler. It's magic.
even a light breeze. Quell your temper. I kind of want to discard Noxious Grasp, play the mountain, see if we top deck Frenzy. Frenzy is like our thing that we need for sure. No. The howling winds. The clouds clear, and I must go. All right, can we beat the four cards they have in hand? We'll see. Prison Reef card is really good. Surprise, surprise. Like, am I supposed to kill that thing with Firebrand and then attack for seven? Honestly, just, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to let that thing jump block or not. Well, it's good that we have that firebrand still. Good thing we still have that firebrand. On four cards against like the best card advantage deck in the in the format. This is tough. Please no crisis. Just just don't have anything else. Just don't just don't have anything. These stupid O threes. Wow. So I attack for five, put them down to nine. Grows Knight to be three. Next turn, it can swing for nine. However, they're attacking me for eight. So if they draw like any creature, I die because I can't spend mana on a, even a removal spell. If I sit back, though, I'm losing to this Omnath. What would they need to draw for me to win? They would need to have, like, land to land on top. And I wouldn't even win. I would just... I still lose to the Omnath in that scenario. I can't attack. Because even that scenario, they just attack Omnath, leave back Brontodon. I will aid you. The 
land shall conquer you. Yeah, Nissa got us. Well, we, we gave it a heck of a run here with four cards. Or Moldafor. We gave it a heck of a run. Played a game. I strike them and light up the stage. I got three mana left. I can draw like my other Noxious Grasp to kill the Omnath, or I guess kill Nyssa, and Firebrand to block. I have like, like no outs. But there's no, there's no better play than this. It's still lethal, right? Because I kill one, block there, take three, six, nine, ten. I guess I'm taking ten. I need I need eight points of burn off the top. I don't even have eight points of burn in my deck. The land fights for us. I mean I should strike the temple. I need to draw light of the stage here and then uh, strike them and then cast light up and I light up to hit another light up and a land and then hit now I, I was trying to think of like how I could get how I could get like four shocks you know, how I could hit all four shocks on, like, light up the stages, but uh, it's just not possible. I guess I already have the land. Yeah, so. Couldn't happen. Hey, what's up, Steph? All right, so we went 3-2. Um, it's going to happen with aggro decks where, you know, like your, your mana gets you and the shuffler gets you. So one, one game in five matches for that to happen is really not so bad. Like we just didn't get to, I mean, we still got to play. We, we did some stuff. Ugh, we need frenzy to help us out with all the, with starting with four cards. We didn't draw a frenzy. Ugh, gutter bones still haven't been very impressive. I don't know what else I want to do there. They're the kind of card that's like, it's not going to like, like Gutter Bones isn't going to like really shine through and, and make it look like, um, you know, like it's not going to, it's the kind of card that is, it's the kind of card that's better than it looks. It won't. It won't do anything like super flashy, something that like you remember that you're like, oh man, remember that gutter bones play that we had that did this thing? 
but you just kind of play it early in the game and just get attacks in and you just get some extra damage in which just incre which just helps out everything else then they just have to chump block your routing register earlier and 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 you remember that by wow routing register was really good because they had to do all this chump blocking well if they're at you know they could have taken another hit but they couldn't because of gutter bones and stuff like that um The other burn spells in the format, so there's like Skewer the Critics and Wizard's Lightning. I don't think I really want to play either of those. Obviously, Wizard's Lightning requires you to play Wizards to really take advantage of that thing, which I don't want to do. And... Skewer the critics. Like we don't have like a lot of other burn that turns it on or anything like that. Also, I don't think this is. I don't think this is a very good skewer the critics deck. Lava coil was really good like that one time against the Cavalier Thorns, but for the most part, wasn't that good of a removal spell. There's other times where it's kind of awkward, like it being sorcery speed. Noxious grass was just awesome for us. I think something I would do is I would just change those numbers play three noxious grass two coil i guess the problem though is coil was pretty good against the vampire deck so adding in another noxious grasp does hurt the vampire matchup now i don't i don't want five mana cards Like, should we just be playing cast downs instead of coils? I guess against Cavalier of Night, that's bad, but against, like, everything else, it's probably better. You know, it can kill Big Krasis, it can do a lot more stuff. Um, and, you know, it's an instant, so you can play it in response to the Rotting Registrar trigger and all that kind of stuff. I guess besides, besides pairing up, to exile something. Cast down's probably going to be better overall. There are there are certainly times where Viashino Pyromancer is better than Dreadhorde Butcher. Absolutely. There are certainly times there. Um yeah, there are certainly times where it is. And there's definitely times where Get Two Lava Runner is better than Gutter Bones. Absolutely. Um, yeah, those are those are certainly things. Anyway, um, that's Rakdos Aggro. Are Gutter Bones truly needed? I've already talked a lot about Gutter Bones. Um... I don't know. It's it's one of the weaker cards in the deck, but it's it's better to be playing it than playing a two or a three mana card that's similarly impactful, basically. One mana cards are, are really good to play. It's really, like, when you're playing, like, one mana cards make Rotting Register, Light at the Stage, Experimental Frenzy. One mana cards make these cards much better. And I don't, I don't know of a better one mana card to be playing. Like, Get to Lava Runner? I don't know. I think I like Gutter Bones more. Anyway, there we go. That's Rakdos Aggro. Uh, and of course, with this kind of deck, you do want to stay, start ahead also, so having a bunch of one-drops is good. Um, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the deck. We had a lot of really good close games here. It's a very good league. Um, and if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching Rakdos Aggro, and I will see you for the next video.